question is from Anahata Lifestyle. What do you think you young people in their 20s need to hear about training and nutrition? What are their biggest miscontent? Misconceptions. Easy there, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> I butchered that one. Well, two times. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so what? Okay, so people in their twenties. I gotta think of myself. What do we think they need to hear as far as training and nutrition, and what are their biggest misconceptions? I think one of the biggest misconceptions in your twenties right now, and I and I think it's something. It's not new. You've heard this on a mind pump a million times. Uh, it's the over application of intensity. Yeah. Uh, everybody on Instagram is is making a martyr of themselves uh, to show their sacrifice. Right. How bad do you want it? If you care bad enough, four a.m. clocking. Yeah, exactly. Or showing pictures of your watch at four a.m. every day in beast mode and all. And so we've over glorified the value and the benefits of intensity to the point where. Everybody thinks that in order to get a very effective workout, you've got to be hobbling out of the gym the next day or die. And the reason why that it, it works when you're 20 and you can do that and you can kind of like go up, you know, the yo yo back and forth. Oh, I'm on and I'm crushing it for a while, then I'm off and I'm on and I'm crushing it for a while, then I'm off. And then eventually you get older and you go like, you what ends up happening to these 20 year olds 20 years later. Is they recall what they the way they were training in their twenties, and, and they, they try and duplicate it. They either try and duplicate it, or they just write it off. Fuck that. Yeah, I'd rather be I a can't little. Do it now. Yeah, I'd rather just accept the dad bod and just you know forget. I don't want to exercise. That I mean, I have friends that were like this because even in our era there was an Instagram that was promoting this. But the the athletic mindset, like we we all trained like we were professional athletes, and mm -hmm. training to be healthy and aesthetically fit is totally different than a wide receiver for the NFL and you have no business nor do you need to train that way but that's what sexy that's what's sexy on Instagram so i think yeah. the kids in their 20s that are that listen to this podcast need to evaluate who they're following and the message that they're presenting and what i see a lot of is the over application of intensity. Yeah, I 100% I agree with that. And I'll add to that in terms of, I think that, that sleep is definitely, mm. with the 20-year-old uh, mindset, is is definitely an afterthought. And I, and I think that the biggest sort of awakening I've had in terms of the way that I am able to still progress is, you know, like getting better quality sleep and, and being able to be fully recovered and allow my body to actually repair and, and rebuild itself. That That's such a vital component to building muscle and to, you know, thriving and being healthy and operating, you know, all systems of the body. And so I think that it's definitely undervalued when you're young. You just think that you can just keep going and hammering your way through like everything. And, you know, sleep is something that you'll get to eventually. Yeah. Now, now I'm going to, I'm going to balance that out a little bit because I, you guys are hundred percent right, but I'm going to balance it out. And I'm going to say this, if there's any point in your life where you where it's uh, appropriate to test your limits <laughs> yeah. and to see... No joke, no Damn joke. It, Sal. Yeah. If there's ever a time in your no, life where you can work as much as you possibly can just to see where your limits are, push yourself hard to see where your limits are. Don't hurt yourself, but just to see what you're capable of, your 20s is the time to do it. That's when you... If, you, if you're going to work 80 hours or 150 hours a week or whatever, go for it. If you're going to work out two or three times a day, Okay, go ahead and test it out. If you're going to drink with your buddies and whatever, yeah. that's the time you want to test out your limits. Totally fine. Of course, be safe. The real lesson, in my opinion, from the 20s is this, is that uh, be growth-minded because it doesn't last forever. Mm. It's okay to learn your limits, but then learn how to fine-tune everything and be okay with changing as your life changes. As things change, context changes, you have to be okay with letting that go because mm. I know a lot of people who get stuck. They get so stuck in that mind space that now they're 30 or 40, they have kids, and no, 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 I'm still going to be like I was in my 20s. They burn themselves out. They get sick. They hammer their metabolisms. They get injured. That's where the problems uh, really lie. Yeah, I th I, yeah, and I think that, that raises a good point, but also I think they could do a better job of being able to push themselves, but finding themselves back at homeostasis. Yeah. Like, and I think that that doesn't even get considered uh, when you're in the mentality of like, I'm just going to hammer through work. I'm going to hammer through these workouts. Like I'm, you know, I'm just not going to sleep. And then later it builds like really bad habits, like going forward. It does. So. You get used to it and you think that that's how you're always going to be, or you cause long-term 
uh, p- potentially long-term damage. I mean, I would have clients that would come see me in their mid-30s, and they're so burnt out that it would take me a year, no joke, it would take me a full year of scaling down exercise, getting better sleep, looking at their nutrition. After a year, their body finally started responding because it took us that long to repair what happened before. Or it was somebody in their 20s who they could eat whatever they want. They had a fast metabolism. Now I have them in their 30s and they've got four food intolerances. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they have you know irritable bowel syndrome or yeah. you know inflammatory. Find type out they're issue. not indestructible. Totally. So you can definitely push yourself, but you got to listen to your body and be smart about it. But again, if you're going to test yourself and see where those limits are, that's probably uh, the time to do it.